Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of my Darkness Falls series. So you're probably wondering what happened to day 83. Well, I must have double tapped when I stopped recording with the last episode and I recorded my evening stuff and then thought I was recording the next day, but I wasn't. So we're missing a whole day. Uh, anyway, not a lot happened that day. Ran out, did a couple of uh, quick quests and stuff. Um, Almost got myself killed uh, doing a fetch quest, but uh, you know, that said, at least um, I'm alive and still going. So, uh, what I did last night is I spent some time reorganizing my weapons and getting everything prepped for the horde night. Um, I figured might as well just get ready. Uh, so, that's what I did. I made a few extra mods last night, still missing a few. But uh, both the coil rifles are ready to go. So we've got the armor shredder, the extended magazine, fully auto, plus metal, rad remover, retracting stock, and muzzle brake. Uh, had a look at the weapon handling. So this is minus 25%. And essentially with the same loadout on the, eight, the um, M4, it's exactly the same. So I'm going to be very mindful tonight when we start firing this to see if it's as steady as the M4 was. I don't know, maybe it's just the, in the coating that's a little different, or I'm, I'm not sure what it is. Because the damage on this is 111 right now, and the M4 was roughly like a little under 100, I think, something like that. So it was doing a little less damage, but, um, you know, sure enough, uh, we'll, have, we'll just have to see how it goes. All right, so everything is loaded for tonight. I'm going to bring an extra coil rifle, just in case we need to swap it out real quick. So this one is actually loaded and ready to go. Um, Float up the shotgun, get it ready. I was not able to make a um, a NICAD mod because we only have, uh, I think th we got four batteries. I'd have to pull one out of here. So we're, yeah, we wouldn't be able to do it because we're drawing powers 26 and we're, we have a max output of 50. That's with all of the uh, stuff powered down below. So... Um, yeah, not much we can do about it. Now, uh, what I want to do, though, is find my steel. Because we're going to get a bit of upgrading done, I think, while he's waiting for a horde. Um, we got some more steel in here. Yep. Uh, I think that's it. We got everything else set out the other day. Let's bring this with us in case we need it. But let's get the steel um, upgrading done. Now, we got another skill point yesterday. Um, I don't think we got another one, no. But I put that into From the Shadows, so we're at four. Uh, it was working really well. Uh, it's surprising how, how silent you can stay. All right, so let's get uh, this wall completely updated. Now, I'm a little bit worried if this... Great. Looks a little different, but, uh, of course. Um, sure. What was I saying? I don't know, I was saying something. What was I talking about before I was so rudely interrupted by misshapes, misshapen stuff? Oh, uh, yeah. So, I don't know, like the upgrading stuff... I don't know. If they break through here, there's not a damn thing we can do to stop them, really. If that was updated, I think. That's fine. That's fine. That's never going to dry, probably. And I saw a block that was damaged here somewhere. I don't think it was that one. Might have been that. Oh, these guys, maybe. Handful of damage on the inside. Don't have any forged iron. Good thing those doors are relatively cheap to make now. Okay, let's get in here. Get this side updated. Okay, that's probably all we're going to need there. Um... Gonna update those though, and then let's get up here. 
I think I should have brought my, uh, yeah, that's three thick, right? No, it's two thick. Right. This will not last long if they get up here, but I don't think they're going to get up here at all. We can worry about that another time. Let's get back up and get um, some food, number one, but let's get some blocks. Oh, we need to make a rebar, too, I think. We're pretty low. Yeah, we're really low on rebar. Uh, can we get some in here going? No, that's still making cement. Which one finished over here? You did not. You're almost done, though. You're both almost done. Uh, let's make rebar. Let's make another 250. And there. And I'm probably never going to use it all, but we're going to make 250 in here as well. Not 520. Not 520. 250. Okay, now we need concrete. We've got some here. Nice. Not sure why those took damage, but whatever. Maybe the guard's shooting or something. I don't know. Whatever. Um, okay, we need uh, bars, and I'm going to need forged iron. So how many bars are we going to need? I need wood, too. Let's bring our wood with us. Um... Let's just make 30 for now, just so we have them. How are you doing? Beautiful. How much rebar am I going to need? I don't know. Let's go with the straight up blocks. Seventy-seven is probably more than enough. Okay. Getting into this base is going to be interesting tonight. Okay, we need to get up here. So this needs to be one higher. Like this. Okay, let's just update these. I think I can leave these at re as reinforced. Like I said, this is the last stopgap, so I don't think... We will be here for very long, if if at all. We'll be bailing out of here. Okay, we gotta close it in too, though. Like that. Which means I'm probably gonna need a steel door or something. Do this. Right, like that. Those updated. Okay, now let's get these shapes. So we can do shape, not wood. Uh, U, we can copy rotation. And then we can't copy the shape though, unfortunately. We grab you. No. Not you. You. There we go. Now, I don't know if I want this all to be... Like, I think what we do is we do... Um, grab these guys. And we do something like... that and then we do this like that right so when we're under here it's just that side that they've got a direct line of sight to see us from like I want to minimize the direct damage I'll be taking now we're going to be adding turrets to the top of this eventually too do that and then we do this and we go advanced 
Ah, crap. Did I make it too high? This allows them to fight in here. It's too late. Too late. It gives the um, mobs with uh, high height the ability to fight inside here, whereas the other one doesn't really. We'll just go to first level of steel on this. I'm really hoping we don't have to leave that first bunkhouse. Or the first bunker. Hope we never have to leave this building. Because if we do, this is going to be uh, an issue. Alright, now we do... Uh, shape. We go with this guy. I think we do three. And for now, I think that's all it's going to be. Like, we can just kind of, like... Like that. And we can take those out. Just so that the birds don't fly in right away. If they spawn there, they'll come right towards us. But like I said, I'm hoping not to be in here. Alright, we got to get these guys done, too. Right, that's the outside one. Now, is that stainless that it's on? No, it's not. Should be, though. And then, these guys are all updated, right? All repaired. Yep. Starting to notice the nervousness of my voice yet? Um, hatches. We need two more. We'll be fine today. I mean, I, I panic every single time there's a horde night. And I mean, for good reason, too, though. Like, I, all it takes is one, right? One zombie to decide, fuck you, I'm not going to obey what you've got laid out. And then you're screwed, right? All right, that opens out. Keeping them outside. And that opens out. Perfect. Keeping them outside. Alright, so that's ready to go. I should upgrade this to stainless. I don't know, like I said, I don't think we'll ever need to go back to here. But what might be interesting one night is if we, um... Is if we just do it one night where it's, um... We set it up so the horde can get to us here and we, we test this base out. Either that, or we can get it. We can call in a screamer horde. Like I can let a screamer see me, and see how that plays out. Yeah, maybe not a good idea. I really hope these wires work. They're about the right place, I think. They just look a little weird to me. Oh, I never did check this wall. Okay, there's a little bit of damage here, I think, but not much. I got most of this updated the other day. Might as well do that. Okay, I think we're good there. Now, was there one block? Yeah, there was. Need to update these guys. I don't know why there's like random block damage. It's probably from the, uh, the guards attempting to shoot across the base. Alright, let's get... She's gonna be fine. Right? You're gonna be fine in there? Good thing is, is at least I can see this side if they try and break in, you know? And this side... Looking pretty good. A little bit of spike damage. Oops. Uh, I think I spent way too much iron on her trailer here, but... Uh, or steel, that is. But you never can tell. The door is fine. Anything damaged here? 
Nope. Good morning, Survivor. Hey, what's up, you? Oh, I do want to get these updated. And then those guys are, these guys aren't. There we go. And then let's get that done. That's the damage here is from guard shooting, right? But at least with that above her head, if any zombies do get on the roof and I don't see them and they're trying to break in, that should stop them, in theory. Alright, that's good enough. Let's not put that back down. Uh, do we want to attempt to go get a battery? I don't think we have enough pages anyway. Let's not bother. Or do we? Do we have enough? How many blue pages do we have? So I got 17 on me, so we have enough. Uh, do I go? Probably. I think it's worth it. Uh, we gotta move the car and the bike anyway. So, let's go. The bike needs to move over here. Turn the light off. And then we'll head out in the car. Hopefully we don't get stuck. Uh, away from the house. Uh, even if we did, we can still foot it back. Not like we haven't footed it back before. Right? Come on, cars, where are you? There's one over here. I just need one battery. And we know there's a car lot around the corner here, too. We almost considered going in there and hitting that up the other day. Come on, battery. Battery? Nope. Well, if anything, at least we'll get some more plastic. Grab this car. I haven't touched this car yet? Really? Ah, crap. Yeah, so I'm really hoping that the, the horde goes really smoothly tonight. And I'm, I, I think it should. It's just really going to all come down to the number of behemoths that show up. Like, if they get, if we get a lot of behemoths, we're in trouble. I just got to make sure that they, they get rinsed real fast. Alright, we got to kill these guys. Oh yeah, I forgot I don't have my silencer on this. Well, I deleted him pretty quick. This just seems faster, too. I don't know. Maybe it's just me, then. He's still alive. It's kind of a nice sound, too, though. Battery. 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 No. Battery. Come on, just one. Really? Guys, I just need a battery. I can probably get one off the bus though. Yeah, you know, I like to say that you don't get them in this level of deconstructed vehicle, but you do, like, when there, uh, there's an engine. Don't need engines anymore, I just need a battery. Come on. One gal darn battery. Nope. I'll get it out the bus here, I bet you, though. 
Of course. Wait and see what happens. Oh, hey, buddy. Can't you see I'm wrenching your bus apart? Come on, battery. It'll be right here. Engine. No battery. I notice you, you do, when you power attack, you have less, less of a chance to get one. That's one thing I have noticed. All right, well, that didn't work out. Now what? Um, was there a parking lot over here? Oh, there's the car right here. You know what, we're gonna give it a couple more shots of trying to get this, and if we don't get a battery in the next couple cars, we're just gonna head back home. Big Mama. You see her rotate? That was like... I don't know what that was like. Okay, let's grab this. Wrench. Come on, battery. Another engine. There it is. I was good, just about to say, let's get out of here. There's the battery. Okay, perfect. Now we got five. Five and two for the power for tonight. Let's hope that power doesn't run out. I don't think it will with the two batteries. I think it'll be just fine. Although that would kind of suck if the uh, batteries... Oh, you know what? Uh, back it up. Let's just try for one more. A shovel. Gonna double hit this like this till we get it down to this part. There's another one. Beautiful. Because we'll dump that one into the... Uh, we'll dump the extra battery into the uh, battery bank so we've got extra power for tonight. I don't think we'll have to worry about it. Excuse me. Once again, who knows, right? So I made 32 farm plots last night, so we'll be able to get our farm going between uh, this episode and the next one. Now, are you a survivor or a bandit? Shh. How does it feel? How does it feel now, Jason? Not looking so good. All right, well. Somebody's at the door. God damn it. I should really just set up a turret. This part of a wandering horde could have been... Is there a party going on down here, buddy? Not sure bring anybody else. Someone's banging on the door over here. Which one, though? This one. We gotta open the doors anyway for the horde tonight, so... Oh, that's gotta hurt. That's it? Is that all you got? Okay. Let's make sure we're in the base, the horde base, for when we need to get out of here. Alright, so let's drop off the GAC. So as much of it can go in there as possible. Same as this. Uh, we've got that for sale. Oh, uh, no, before we do anything, 
let's figure out what we need to make that uh, I think I'm gonna need steel I don't know why all that's in there um, one two three four five we need the extra battery for up here that should be fine I think where's the NICAD uh, duct tape I hope it doesn't take too long. Where's my duct tape? There it is. 54 seconds. Perfect. Ah, I feel justified for going out now. All right. So those guys can go in there. Those guys can go in there. So yeah, like as I was saying, we got 32 farm plots. So we're going to set up a nice farm. Those guys can go in there. Hopefully, a nice farm. Those guys will go in there. Okay, so what do we not need for tonight? We don't need you. Don't need you. Don't need you. Since we can't repair anything, that can go there. But we are going to keep some frames on us in case we need the nerd pole or something. Might as well get a few more. Um, so frames. Let's get like another 30. Not going to be able to use them, but... At least we've got them. We can move, leave the shotgun there. Sniper rifle can go there. And we'll bring down these guys. Grenades. Um, are we going to need them? Are we, are we really going to need the grenades? Might need the repair kits. Okay, you can go in there. You can go in there. I don't think we'll need the repair kits. We haven't needed them yet. Okay, bring you down. We can modify you. Now, I don't think... Yeah, we need to take out the rad remover, right? No? Plus metal? Oh. Okay. It's worth it, though, I think. It's worth it. All right, well, we've got an extra blessed metal mod, which is good. Put that in here. Don't have very many mods left. We lost, like, oh, man, two, ri two rifles full of good mods. That really sucks. we still got to work on getting this done, too. Uh, okay, so we got four repair kits. We don't need stuff to repair stuff with, but what we do need is I'm going to bring... I think I'm just going to bring uh, first aid kits because we've got so many of them now. Um, so we'll just bring first aid kits. That's an emergency use. Bring some of these. That before we start. I think that's all we need first aid wise. Now we're definitely going to need... Bring these guys. Going to need at least one stack for sure, maybe another stack. Just in case we get demons. And we're good, we're maxed out. Let's use that. We're gonna bring some food with us just in case. Uh, learning elixirs. Let's take the three. Maybe we pop those before we start, too. There's always a slow lull before they get to us, so we'll take those with us. Uh, I wonder. I should start keeping these in my toolbar in case for whatever reason we need to run. Like, if we have to bail out or run away, that lasts for two minutes, 50% run speed. So, that could be the difference between life or death. So, let's keep that on us. Uh, what else do we want to do here? Let's just use one of these for now. Alright. So, yeah, we got lots of seeds, and then the farm plots are in here. Perfect. Let's just drop them in here for now. So we got 32. So we want to do... That's carrot. It's 5 carrot. Um, oh, we got 11 spud, eh? Put 5 of those. Uh, where are the corn seeds? We'll do 5 corn. So 15, 23, 
What else did we have? We had a couple of these planted. 26. Um, 28. Do we really need those? 29. Oops. Let's put three of these in. So that's 15, 18, 21, 24, 32. So that'll give us all those. Don't think there's anything else I want. Oh, of course I went ahead and did that, didn't I? Sometimes I wonder how I'm actually breathing. Um, five of these guys. Four of these guys. We had five of these guys. Right, three, and then we had one of this. And was it two, and we had two of this. Right? So eight, 16, 26, 30, we're missing two. Oh yeah, these guys. Perfect. All right. So we'll get that set up. We might do it tomorrow, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, what can we use these for? Recipes. So pumpkin seeds, jack-o'-lanterns, pumpkin bread, cheesecake. Requires eggs though. Pie requires eggs. Working oven. Do we not have the ability to make that yet? Actually, before we do anything else, let's make sure. I'm, I'm goofing around and I'm like, let's just make sure we've got what we need for the horde. Just so like I'm not like scrambling. Okay, we don't need that many coil rounds. If we do, we're in trouble. Um, contact grenades, maybe? I should put the rocket launcher in there, but knowing me, I'll, I'll, I'll F up and something bad will happen. Like I'll panic and then one of the behemoths will come to the door and I'll fire it off and, and kill myself. Yeah, I think that's good. Do we want to run with armor piercing weapon? Like, I mean, is, aren't the coil rounds armor piercing anyway? Uh, yeah, I think that's probably good. I think we're okay here. Feels pretty good. We got the nightcat in already. So we'll do that because we'll take these before we start. That's here as an emergency. Just put it there as an emergency. Ah, uh, okay. Let's grab the rest of this stuff. I know what we should do. Let's do... That. So the wires are actually active now. We should be good to go. Oh. Why am I so fucking nervous? I really shouldn't be. Ah, uh, we don't need that much, but we can take it anyway. So, how much concrete mix do we have? So, we want 2,700 in here. And the rest in there. Perfect. Okay, now, um, do we have any, we got a little bit of iron here, so let's make some more 
steel. How much steel can we make? 1,200. So it'll be done by the morning. Just in time for repairs. Uh, steel. I just double checking because I just thought I made something else there for a second. All right, not bad. Get those going. Okay. Ah, man, we love that multi-tool. We haven't really needed the titanium though. I guess we've been kind of lucky. We haven't really needed it. And you know what, the Horde Knights? So my game stage right now is, let's have a quick look here. 402 at level 118. 176 player kills. I wonder if that's like animals and stuff. Died eight times. Fuck me. <laughs> Although I, that's not a bad, that's not a bad kill to death ratio. <laughs> 4,700 kills. So we have like, see, here's the thing is like I played um, an offline match where actually let's go around and pop all the doors. I played an offline match where, um, actually we want to do this one first. Where I didn't have any electricity on Horde Knight. Always, right? Yeah. Ah, uh, fuck off. That should stay up. Perfect. Yeah, so... And I didn't have any electricity on the Horde Knight. So... It was interesting because... That first Horde... Was the same... Difficulty in zombie ratings as I have right now. Right? So it's... It's warrior difficulty. And I'm gonna... Eh. I'm gonna pull that one up. Actually, that's... Really? Pull all three up. We'll replace it with wood. Just like that. So if someone does come in, they can't get up here. Um, yeah, so and then the Horde Knight was like... I swear to God, I thought I was going to die that first night. So it was day seven... 16 Zombies, Warrior Difficulty, and I had roughly the same kind of build. So I didn't build in the trader, I built on top of a node of iron. And everything was made out of, my whole base was made out of cobblestone, and it was a 7, or a 9 by 9 blo like, uh, hollow brick. So the walls were only 9 by 9 with one thick. Then I had a stairway coming up to the doorway. Kind of like I have it now, but not quite. Just a, very, very close, right? And then I fought the zombies all night. I had two blunderbuss and a, and a shotgun, a uh, pump shotgun. And I had 150 shotgun rounds. 70, no. Yeah, 150 shotgun rounds. 77, I think, blunderbuss rounds. And my club. And when the round, when the night was over, I had three rounds left in my shotgun. Um... And I was, like, just flabbergasted. Now, I was making repairs that night, though. I was repairing the the uh, hatches as the night went, went along. But I can't believe how many cops showed up on, like, day seven. Like, it was, I maybe got, like, ten cops. It was that brutal. So, in that particular playthrough, I'm murdering, like, I got nine levels on the first Horde night. And then the second Horde light night was nine levels again. So, like, I'm murdering a ton of zombies... And then, I got, and then I finally got electricity, and then it was a little easier. But I didn't have the junk sledge. That was the major thing, is the junk sledge wasn't there to thin them out. Because right now, the junk sledge basically thins the horde out before it even gets to me. Like, if I was to remove this, then they would all be at the door. Like, all of them. And this thing is doing a brilliant job. Like, even with, like, one level of... I think we only have one or... Is it one or two? Where is it here? Not technology. Scientists. Yeah, we're level two. Uh, no. 
It's robotics under mechanic. Yeah, level two. So it actually fires fairly quickly. It does a little bit of damage, but I mean, it fires fairly quickly, right? Um, the only reason why we're level two in this is because we wanted to have it reach for when we were back further. Um, otherwise, I would just left it at level one because I don't want them. I don't want the, the sledge to, to remove too many of the zombies because we do want to get kills and we do want to get get get. Uh, um, what do you call it? Um, loot bags right at the end of the night. So why is steel crafting? Oh, I see no laborer class. Um, all right, so let's have a quick look here. So. Tool crafting I don't have to worry about. These are maxed. Um, what do we have that we could probably raise up? So automatic weapons is up. Those rifles I think was one of the ones we wanted to bring up, was it not? Yeah, we're already at level three with that. That'll go up quicker. I mean, we could do quality Joe and stuff. Athletics. I mean, we could spend it the last one on here. I mean, it's not going to help us on a horde night. What's going to help us on a horde night? Not a lot, really. I mean, armor spec. I mean, let's put let's put a point into this. I'm interested to see. Actually, let's try before we do it. Let's just get an idea here. Okay, and then, I know it's not going to give us much of an idea, but it'll give us a bit of an idea. Alright, it's slightly better. Now, I think our mobility was 76 before, so it should be 81 now. I should get ready. For, I go. Yeah, it's 81 now. Alright, so every one of that is going to give us an extra 5% mobility. Oh, let's close this. So we made sure that block was pulled up down there. This is all active. No, it's not. It is active only because... Yeah. Only because the power is on the throughput, but it'll go off at night, so we have to make sure that that's turned on. Close you. What am I forgetting, guys? Loaded, 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 make the jump, close you up, what am I forgetting, all the doors are open, I know what I'm forgetting, why do you guys not remind me? It's gonna have to be a makeshift. It's gonna have to be makeshift. Um, looks like you're coming with me tonight. Oh shit! Uh, I'm not gonna be able to reach it from here. The turret's not powered up. Let's hope I can reach it. I'm not going to be able to reach it. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, my God. Are you serious? Oh, my God, that just reached. Like, right between the crack, too. That was so lucky. Oh, my God, that was so lucky. And the door, which I did not get closed. Come on. Okay. And just to double check. Yep. Had to make sure. Okay. Turret's powered up, ready to go. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm glad I remembered that. I'm glad I remembered that. That was like a last second thing too. 
I think we might want to consider like if we block the guards off like let's say we um, put blocks across here like extra steel and all that stuff we might want to consider running a power cable from there all the way across to there like two of them one on the upper level like one on the lower block level one on the upper block level straight across this walkway and then we could just shoot at them from here I mean we still have to fight guys down here but like uh, this is for like later stages too at least it would slow them down even more I guess I don't know I think we're gonna be fine tonight he says with a nervous waver in his voice I put a couple of spikes along this side too because the last horde night they were beating on these blocks here and they did significant damage to two of them so come on it's almost time we got half an hour in game all right well we're kind of ready that's not perfect, but if they stack up on each other, they can get over. I gotta add a bar in there, I think. And a plate still. To make all this steel. I think we need to make these lower ones at least reinforced steel. Like the stainless steel like this. So if the cops and stuff are down here shooting up at us, that this has got some good stability. Because, uh, man, those cops, they do a lot of damage with their vomit like even like early game like my early game horde base they do a lot of damage stay quiet Jen just stay perfectly quiet they won't bother you they don't know you're in there just stay quiet so we got what one two three four five six guards left and we started off with what two four six eight ten 11, 12, 13. So we're down to less than half guards. We got one, one, two, three, four, yeah, six. Less than half of the guards left. What I should do is put barriers between the two guards. So they're not inclined to shoot each, like, shoot each other. Should at least knock out like these bars here it's just hard to get the ones they're standing on because it's like you hit them all right we're almost there wait what's the stability on this guy doesn't say that's interesting though it's been handling minus 30 there's no handling on the auto shotgun though even though it's fully automatic and this could go fully automatic too there's no handling on this guy I don't know welcome to the trick-or-treaters I already took a shot. A demo? Nope. Yep. How did you get past the, uh... Okay, we gotta get the cop. Where is he? It's the demo. There he is. Oh, that guy took it right in the face. Nice. Demo handled. I forgot to close the windows down there. Hope I don't... Well, it doesn't matter if I shoot those guys. That guy lost his leg. 
Oh, hey, what's up, buddy? Uh, I got something for you. Here. Lootage. You hear, see what I mean? Like, you can hear that thing going off. It's just constantly punting them. They gotta kind of get through in a, in a big wave, a big wave of them. I wonder if I should try one night and just like not, uh... You know, and not use that and see how bad it gets. There comes the screamers. He's doing a good job tonight, holy crap. Got a killer just to be sure. Okay, white. Oh, hey, what's up, buddy? I was uh, busy killing your friends. You mind, like, now bothering me? Oh. Man, nothing worse than a shotgun blast to the face. Yeah, see, they're getting by it. I'm kind of glad the shotgun's got the... I went, I'm, I'm glad we got the NICAD and the shotgun. Uh, I thought I saw... Did I see a demo? I thought I saw one on the corner of my eye here. Uh, maybe it was the biker I saw. Okay, we didn't get a bag there. Hey, what's up, buddy? Don't break my fucking door. I only got one. So if I move those over, I think one block. So if those guys move over one block, I think that'll be better, because then they'll come down a little bit more on this side. You know what I did forget to do though? I didn't close that door. That's a better uh ratchet, is it not? Okay, uh you can go. Wow, it's like so efficient tonight. I didn't even put any points into uh, the robotics advent like engineer either. This thing is like, maybe it's just because there's so many normal zombies, you know? She's got to go away. Hey, right, buddy. Cop. No cop. Click. Wow, that that gun is like going through its durability. Oh, that's a demo. Is it? Yep. Yeah, they're going right past the uh That helmet, I tell ya, some pretty good defense for him. Is that dem is that demo still there? Oh, there he is. That just looked painful. That just looked painful. Ah. Because why not? They're not coming to the door. Wow. 
Wow, this is like... This is what I mean, though, when I said like we should be taking on like Tier 3 and Tier 4 building or Tier 4 and Tier 5 buildings, I mean, instead of Horde Knights. Ah, that was bullshit. I guess it wasn't. It was a lot closer than I thought. Alright, what do we got going on? Kill the nurses, they heal the zombies. Wow, a lot of normals tonight. Not exactly sure why that is. Try to get her in midair. Tried to get her in midair. Is that a cop or is that a vulture? Cop. Nice. There's another cop there. Hey, what's up, you? You guys aren't dropping any loot bags. Sorry, take it back. You're dropping you're dropping garbage loot bags. Oh. Think I can stack these? I think it only goes to two though. Alright, animals coming. This is usually the, like the animals are usually the ones that give me the most trouble, I think. Simply because they usually come with the, um, they show up with the, uh, little demon guys. You know, the, you will suffer. All right, bear's gone. Yo, what's up, you? Wow, this is like going so ridiculously smoothly. You, you, you know, there's gonna be a wave of just behemoths. Something bad is gonna happen. Ah, biker helmet. I'm gonna call those biker helmets from now on. Oh, what's that guy up to? Oh, hey. Like, what's he doing? I find those big guys get confused a lot. I don't know whether it's just the Darkness Falls mod. But the big uh, bloated guys just like will sometimes run around in a circle rather than coming after you. And I don't know it's because they just don't see. Uh, like maybe they're just like a, maybe they're like two and a half blocks high and they don't really see an easy way to get to you. Don't know why they do that. I right, we're hearing a a little shit burger. Get you out of the way. Look at you guys. What are you doing? You're still alive? Oh, hey. Touch. Breaking my door. Ooh, what do you got? Oh, that bad. that's not bad. Oh, hey. Shit, there he is. 
Okay, we got in before he did too much damage. Haven't taken the door down past the uh, first level yet. Oh. Don't interrupt me when I'm looting. Got a pair of blue jeans. Oh, grenades. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Fucking keep me from using my window, assholes. Come on. Guy was shifty. If you kind of move forward, they kind of stick their head through thinking they can get you. Good way to trick them out. Alright, well. Very slow night. Fucking bears. Stop coming. This is not a bear party. Oh, demon dog. I'll make sure you die. I love how the loot is kind of specific to this to the individual zombies too. Okay, we can scrap a few of these things. Come on, guns, do your job. Oh, shit! Good thing that guy fell. You coming back? There he is. He took a full clip. That guy took a full clip. Come on. I don't know if that behemoth died. But if he didn't, I want him back up here now. Because he's just like... Burning through his- he's like regenerating health is all he's doing. Okay, he's starting to get a little bit more intense. Not sure how we got that guy through the door. Mind you bastards, let's go. That guy looked like he got punched in the groin by the, uh... By the sledge and he was just like, oh Come on. Yeah, that behemoth must have died. I will suffer, I know. Never bought the knife. Problem solved. That's the one thing I'm missing tonight, is the knife. Yeah! Now, do you got a pair of jeans for me too? Uh, one roll of duct tape. Well, could have been worse, I guess. Not see you coming. Mo, leave me frick alone. Wow, so many spiders tonight. Let's 
Somebody's banging on something down there. Yeah, I didn't kill her. Well, that's the night. Two behemoths and that's it. Come on, you guys. Let's go. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, I guess I should be thankful that it's like... You know, I should be really thankful that it's only like... That was the horde. You know, it could have been way worse. Could have been way, way worse. Like, I don't know what we'd do if we got two, two behemoths at the door. Could you imagine? Like, if you had APM, it wouldn't be too bad. They're breaking my shit. They're almost done. Getting tired. Is that it? Is that all you can conjure, Saruman? Wow, the door... Was, okay, they broke through the first level of the door. That's it. Well. Let's go close the doors and then loot. There's not a lot of loot down here, though. I thought I... I don't know. I felt like I killed more. There's a bunch there. I felt like I killed more that Horde Knight than before. Simply because I was shooting out the window more. But I guess a lot less came to the door. So maybe... I don't know. Maybe it just felt like more. Perfect. Alright, let's loot this stuff up and see what we get here. All right, well, I don't know. I want to say we did okay, but it just feels like a lot less. Like, there's nothing that amazing, amazing... I mean, I guess you reach a certain point in the game anyway, nothing really seems amazing that you get anymore, but we didn't get any power armor or... Like, I mean, we got a handful of coil pieces, but it's like pistol stuff. Right? I mean, so I don't know. I guess we did okay in that Horde Knight. It could have been better. Yeah, it could have been a lot better. It just felt... Oh, they took a block out over here. That's interesting. The door was up, was up too. There's a bag out here. Let's go grab this one. All that way for two nails. Yeah, I guess somebody must have been loving this. This is what has me worried about that side. Right? Is that for some reason they just want to like bang? I gotta be able to shoot down. Now I did, like a lot more of these got broken out this time I, I feel. But then again we had a whole ton of bears come through here and just kind of climb on here. So that could have been it too. Not a lot of damage. Like even if they take, even if they take this out, this is all staying up anyway. They have to take out I think they'd have to take out this one, this one, and that one for it to collapse. I'm pretty sure that's how I have it set up. For... Yeah, maybe. They have to, well, at least they'd take out two of them, at least, anyway. Alright, well, I'm gonna get this stuff put away. Sell some stuff at the trader. We're gonna have to re reanalyze how we've got the, uh, the wire. Because it didn't work as well tonight. Right, they were just sneaking across, like, right here. Somehow. So we have to have it maybe cross this block, which means if those two get moved over, like, right now they're there and there. If we move it to there and there, that should just be enough of a, more of an angle here to extend it over this block, and they'll probably run into it. At least I hope. 
All right, guys, I'm ending the episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And you can also drop, actually, you know what? You can drop any comments in the comment section down below. But how much battery power do we use? Almost nothing. But then again, they barely ran into the uh, electric fence. So, yeah. Until next time, we'll see you later.